Our families provide the thread that is woven throughout our lives, for better or for worse. It can be a thread that gives us continuity and support and a sense of belonging and connection. Or it can trip us up and prevent us from achieving our goals and our dreams. When that happens, sometimes we have to sever the thread in order to start living. This evening you'll hear from these three terrific authors writing about their families from both these perspectives. So I'm faced with this problem of writing a biography of my parents, um, who died at the age of 190, uh, over the last decade or so. And they were not the sort of people that there was a clear narrative. I mean, they were, um, they were essentially happy people who just liked each other intensely. <laughs> So what I did, instead of using the normal devices of memory, where I pretend that I really know what happened, is that uh, in the late 90s, when I realized my mother was in ill health and, and getting very old, I uh, devised a list of 40 questions. And I interviewed my, I did all this on tape, and I transcribed it, and both interviews, very much cut down, are in the book. And, uh, Amongst other things, like in the middle of uh, asking my mother what the most, in, what the most influential uh, person had been in her life, she confessed to having an affair while she was in her 40s, which I knew nothing about. <laughs> the story starts with a prologue where I explain that in one of the last conversations, in the last conversation I had with my father, he told me the name of my grandmother, the town she lived in, and his true name. I hadn't known any of those three. I had never spoken, called him by his real name um, when he was alive. Um, and I described the process of going to meet that family that I've never met, uh, his family in Quebec, and trying to think, how am I going to tell this story? They haven't seen my father in 30 years. They don't know me. And here I am going back to tell them that this man was a bank robber. And uh, they didn't know that either. His number was in one of the cards he sent, and I went to a payphone and called Collect. We talked only a few times since I'd left briefly with my mother passing the receiver around, and this was the first time I'd called him on my own. How bad could he really be? My mother and aunt whispered together at night about him, and several times my mother had told me he was dangerous and that we had to keep our lives secret from him. As the phone rang, my heart kicked like a car stuck struck jackrabbit in its final frantic seconds. I laughed, and he asked how things were going. I talked a bit about school and stupid teachers and fishing and what I was eating these days. There was a long silence, and I realized that this was the moment when he would ask the questions that made my mother angry, what our phone number was or where we lived, but he just cleared his throat and told me he loved me. I said that I loved him, and we hung up. I put my forehead against the hot plastic of the phone. Had I betrayed her? Before I wrote this book, uh, I, I've always loved my family and we've always been very close, uh, but I didn't know how, how you know, tolerant uh, or how, how deep is that love. That's a song, right? How deep is that love? <laughs> That's how I learned my English <laughs> from songs. <laughs> For sure, if you put out any of the pages in this book, uh, we would have not 42, if we're 42 around the table, uh, we would have 50 different opinions uh, and, and fighting about it. Uh, but somehow, with this book, nobody has ever said anything. And everybody is behind me, even though they don't, you know, we don't talk about emotions so much uh, in the Vietnamese culture. Uh, they've never said to me that they're proud of the, or they're, 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 they're happy with the book or anything. But uh, they all have a copy. So yeah. I guess they're happy. And it, becomes, <laughs> and, it, and it becomes a kind of glue for the family. Yes, yes, yes. It's certainly yes, good yes. with my family.